Woo! What's up everyone? Welcome to a new episode. First time recycling. Turn left on Astor Street. You can hear the GPS right now. This is going to be a little like a, kind of a different video. It's going to be like vlog style. Got myself Hero here. Alvin next to me. Yeah. We're, we're yeah, going to pick up a mountain scary. bike. scary. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he's... He's driving really scary guys. Nah, really I am scary. the calmest, most calmest, secure, safest driver. Yes, we're, we're driving in what he calls a boat and he's swaying yeah. it all over the place. On Astor Street. Dang, I and, it's, and it's automatic, so uh, everything feels scary to me. Dang, see, that's why I'm scared. Okay, I'm not really paying attention to the GPS dang. right now. No, we should shoot the intro yeah, later. But left. Here. Left, okay. Yeah, that's fine. But anyway, guys. We are getting a bike for this dude, um, so we'll actually show you probably in about a minute or so how it's gonna look, and uh, we're very excited to see if it's actually gonna fit. Yep. We have some. Should show them, yeah. yeah. Show them the we have the printouts here, uh, pretty much to see if the battery is gonna fit in the frame. So we have three different sizes just to make sure. Uh, Hero is a small. Yep. Uh, so we just need to make sure that um, the batteries are going to fit. And it sounds like I hear some sort of. 350Z. 350, yeah, as I say, it's like either Turn G right or 350. Yeah. Sounds like a VQ. Yep. So anyway, that's, uh, we'll see how the bike looks and all that good stuff. All right, guys, we ended up picking up the bike. Yeah, you can kind of see it in here. Um, now, the biggest battery will not fit but we could uh, maybe you know check with mine and kind of put it in its place just to kind of see um, that will be um, exciting if it does come close and we definitely know we can try a bigger battery and we'll see how far it's off um, but the measurement tool definitely was helping us um, the part that obviously we'll just be a little worry of is how it bends here a little bit but um, it looks like fitting a dropper seat post probably won't be an issue, but that was uh, some of our concerns um, when we're, you know, when we're working with it. But like I said, we're very excited, guys. Heck yeah. So anyway. E-bike e time soon. Yep, so All we're right. gonna get it home. We're gonna take a look at it. Yeah, and we'll, we'll show you the template and how we uh, tried to see if it fits in the triangle. We have yeah. like three different versions. I biggest. Pull this out. Yeah. yeah, the biggest one that Alvin has and then the smaller and then the slimmer one. Yeah, but so. let's put the bigger one on top. We'll just have this huge hump on the top. Nah, nah. <laughs> All right, anyways, we're gonna head out. Uh, Yo, so we are made it home. We are home. The bike is not, yeah. not its real home, but it's home. Yeah. It's, <laughs> so yeah, so again, guys, uh, keep in mind it does have carbon fiber bars yep um, we did find a date on this bike this bike is a 2012 yep it's made in 2012 there yeah yeah so it's so. a it's a 26 rim yep. which is which is what I wanted well yep. originally DT Swiss DT Swiss rims yeah yep. he's Dang. modified it XT uh, XT DR or DR XT crank Yep. SRAM X9 rear derailleur, Iridium. which I don't think are stock. Iridium, bro. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> but Iridium usually, to me, is our spark plugs. Juicy 7 Avid uh, brakes here. Which is cool. Yeah, never uh, never really uh, used those before, Avid. And there's our SRAM X9 rear uh, quick shifters. And I think the front, too. Yeah. X9, yeah. Maybe they came stock. I don't know. Yeah. But the grip feels pretty decent. Grips feel nice, yeah. So, yeah and we're liking it. Yeah, and I'm pretty happy. I'm loving the colors. So, so. we're going to be trying. So what we're going to do is this battery fitment. This is pretty much my battery that I have on my Bafang. So they have these templates on their website. So you can actually kind of do a quick test and see how you're going to like it. If it fits and all that good stuff. So the idea is we're going to try to do it kind of like mine. Um, you can kind of see it's kind of tucked in there, but I have a rear shock. So mine is a little Ford on it where Hero doesn't have a rear shock. So we'll be able to bring it back down a little bit. Um, so we'll kind of see how much space it has. Like I said, right now, if we actually put it in this way, it looks really close really right close, there. Yeah. So um, obviously he has his gear, his uh, cables, cables up top, up top um, which we there's like a little indentation to bypass that. So I think we might be pretty dang close. So we're gonna try to give it a shot. We're gonna see how it looks really fast. Um, if it's gonna bolt up, and you know we're gonna see how it looks. So we're very 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 excited. Yeah, e-bike. Um, and if not. Um, pretty much we'll be going to they have a mini jumbo battery 
uh, our mini shark battery, sorry, um, which is a step under this one. And for Hero, I think that would be more than enough anyway. Step under meaning thinner, smaller, Thin, yeah, smaller, shorter. Uh, less, um, less voltage. I think it's 48 versus a 52. Okay. But I think same amperage. So um, the only thing is you'll probably kill your battery before me. But you know who knows? I'm heavier than you, so yep. it might work out the same. So yep. anyway, let's uh, pull off my battery on my bike, and we'll see what we can do here. Yep. All right, guys, so I did take my Bafang battery off. You can kind of notice it's a little dusty because we've obviously we've been taking out uh, mountain biking. Uh, definitely go check out those videos in the upper right-hand corner so you guys can see it in use. Um, but this is kind of the biggest battery that I saw that they made or that they offered. Um, but yeah, let's see how it's going to look. Again, I, don't, I still have the mount on my bike here. Um, so overall, it still looks uh, looks like it might sit in there just nicely, hopefully. Let's see, it's a little tight, a little tight. Okay, yeah, that'll actually be tight. Yeah, especially yeah. with the, the mounting bracket. Yeah, It'll so, raise it about a yeah. quarter of an inch or maybe yeah, we'll build. Actually, we could probably move it up. Actually, let it go back, even if it sat back there. Yeah, if it sits back there, it won't, ma it won't matter, really. Yeah, because little, I don't have a rear shot. Yeah, put a little piece of rubber there. Uh-huh. And it's probably gonna be high enough out of the um, crank, crank way. How hard is it to take the mount off? Not that hard. It's only one. Maybe screen. we can try it. Yeah, so I can try to move it. All right, we're gonna so, try. We're gonna try fully mounting the battery and see if uh, slide it in. see if this is the one I should order. If not, <laughs> I'm gonna be doing the Mini Shark. Yeah, the Mini, Mini Shark, Shark, which is a 48 volt. And uh, yeah, this is something that we need to know now before I buy the whole Bafang kit. So, and, and again, if you're at home, they have templates. So right now, you can get it at the BafangUSDirect.com. They'll have uh, templates and everything. You can order the battery. You can order everything on Amazon, uh, but you can definitely go to their actual website to get these templates, and you know, pretty much figure it out. So we're gonna take off my mount. Let's see. All right. All right, guys. So actually, we can't take it off because we have it all zip tied and you know looking good in there. Yeah, I don't want to. So don't want to. Just didn't want to mess with it too undo, much. Undo all that. Um, but yeah, it does look like the thickness is too thick here. Um, as it slides in, it does look like it has a little bit of slide in play, but then the, um, what I'm gonna assume is the flat spot is gonna be the spot here, which is gonna be the flat spot. So when we're here, it's just, it's ever so close. Ever, ever so close. Yeah, might be. It's kind of, it might probably could do it, sadly, or scary enough. <laughs> might be safer to just go with the smaller. So the smaller one is, is less yeah less tall and mm. or short or no just the, less tall oh, okay yeah just to be safe i still will be putting in one bolt on the bottom uh maybe two we'll see how it is when we yeah. get it which uh, since this is a smaller one we have a lot of clearance might use two yeah might not need to swing it out yeah oh well, it depends yeah oh yeah totally clear yeah so it's just the yeah. cables guys so try and do it without you know but you guys seen the cables there you go but yeah but you just won't have yeah push. i might have to do the sl so, slide out yeah. yeah so even if it slid out lock in boom, boom. all right so yeah, it looks so. looks like i know what i need to get and plus the bottom bracket is the same as the specialized here the stumpy if you can see out there so it's a 73 millimeter bottom bracket so i, I already know what to order yeah, we yeah. Got the tools and they are in stock i think so we're all excited. Hero's gonna be pulling off some stuff like this little gauge here. Yeah, not sure what this to is. See how but far it goes. Speed, speed here. and mileage sensor probably. Yeah. You'll probably put on his roadie, road bike. Nah, I'm just gonna trash and it. And um, yeah. So anyway, guys, we are super excited. Heck we're yeah. Gonna, yeah, we're just pretty much showing off the bike for today, guys. Yep. Because that was just a journey in itself. We went kind of far to pick it up, but super excited about it heck yeah and it's can't gonna, wait it's gonna look like this guy soon guys yep i am super excited it is going to look like this guy except so. for not without that not without that seat that freaking grand grandma you seat. say that <laughs> you might get that seat soon he's like dang it's gonna be like a look at this guys this is like a mini dirt bike <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. I don't even have to pedal. I have the throttle. He's gonna have the throttle. Oh yeah. And being able to have a little frunk. Is that what we call it? Frunk. No, that's a trunk. The a, frunk, frunk would be in the yeah, front. Trunk number no, was seat trunk, trunk. No. That's a butt uh, trunk. So brunk. Brunk. Yeah, brunk. <laughs> right, so 
<laughs> we're, making, we're making up words. I know. But anyway, guys, yeah. super excited. It feels great. Uh, Hero's going to take it home, clean it. Yeah, disinfect it, disinfect clean it, it, it all that grease good it, stuff. oil it. Get it get it looking good yeah. and maybe even swap his bar at some point. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's he's I, a little afraid about the age of this one. I had that, and I don't know where he got this bar. I don't know what where it's made from. It could be a cheap China bar that's gonna break while we're riding, so I don't want to chance it. I don't need the carbon fiber anyways, so yeah, it's like yeah. that, guys. Anyways, hopefully yeah. you guys enjoyed. This was more like kind of like vlog style video. It's something that we uh, don't usually bike. do, but a new bike. We got a brand used bike. A brand new used bike for yep. Hero 2012 again, guys. Yep. And it's gonna become an e-bike. All right, so that's the goal. Yes. Specialized e-bike with a buffet motor. Yeah. Later, guys. Later. Thanks for watching. Peace. Peace.